Hi guys, Jasmine here again. If you haven't already, like and subscribe um, to see more videos from me. Today I'm going to be talking about the Miss Yiffy cosmetics. Um, I have two here. Um, I have the rainbow highlighter and then I also have the um, I guess highlight contour uh, um, if you want to call it that. Um, you can get these from the As Seen on TV store. Um, they retail for $14.99 a piece. Um, I have tried them both. Um, they come in a white pearly um, container like this. Uh, when you open it up, you have your um, product. And then if you open underneath as well, um, it comes with a little brush. Mine is here. I'll show you. Right here. So it comes with a little brush that you can use with it. Um, these brushes are always crap. They're never good. Throw them out. Do not use them. Um, they're rough. They're hard. Scratchy. Don't put it on your face. Don't waste your time. Um, use your own brush. Um, the nice thing is they have um, a mirror in it as well. So you can use that, I guess, when you're applying it. Um, so first things first. Um, these are, like I said, $14.99 a piece. Um, they're not that good. Let's just say that. Um, they definitely are not my favorite. Um, I definitely don't enjoy using them. Um, the bronzer highlight is crap. Um, don't buy it. This one's in the shade 04. Um, pigmentation sucks. Uh, they are um, very choppy. Um, they aren't smooth. Um, they aren't easy to blend. Uh, they're not good. They're not good. Don't buy it, okay? Don't buy it. Don't buy this one. This is not good. Um, so that's a swatch. It looks nice, right? I wouldn't have thought anything bad about it. Um, when you apply it to the skin, looks okay. But when you're using a brush, it's horrible. Horrible. No matter what you use, um, you can use, I've tried it with a fan brush, a big fan brush, which I've been liking doing my contouring with fan brushes. Um, I find it gets really nice into... Um, right into my socket, I guess you'd want to say. Um, so I really enjoy these big fan brushes. I've also um, used the Jumbo Kabuki, the SS023 from Crown. Very soft brush. I really enjoy using this. Um, I use it with my ABH um, contour palette. It is awesome. I use it with my Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I use it with my Buxom bronzer. I love this brush. It's awesome. With this, it still sucks. And it's not the brush's fault, it's the product. Um, I've used it with um, a Morphe brush that looks like this, um, the E3, the Elite Collection. Um, it sucks. The bronzer sucks. Do not buy it. it it's not blendable at all. It does not look good on the skin. Um, the color's too, like, Maybe for my darker ladies, um, it has more of like a ready orange undertone for my skin. Um, fair ladies, medium ladies, you don't want an orange face. That's what you're going to get with this. So unless my darker ladies can use this, you're going to end up with an orange face if you're pale. That's all there is to it. So, no. Don't get this. <laughs> um, the highlight looks nice. Um... It looks pinkish in the in the pan, honestly. It looks kind of pink, but um, when you swatch it, it's very chalky, very chalky. Um, like, look at that. It's chalky. It's not easy to work with. Um, I've tried it uh, under my contour to kind of clean it up to see if that would work. I've tried it under my eyes. Um, I find it clings to my pores, makes them look enlarged. This palette, this do, no. Skip it. Not good. Don't go there. 
Um, as for the uh, rainbow highlight that everyone was fascinated, um, very cool concept, same thing, $15. Looks like this, um, shiny, yes, um, not that easy to work with, honestly. Um, if you're looking for something, like obviously this probably wouldn't be um, everybody's everyday highlight just because how many of us are going to be wearing um, rainbow highlight every day? If that's you, great, rock it. If it's not, then you'll probably end up be using this for like Halloween or some special occasion. Um, you can use this on the lips um, if you wanted to bring some attention to your lips. You can use this too. Put it on your eyes um, as eyeshadow. If you want, you can go there and use it for your cheek, bone, nose, highlight, Cupid's bow highlight. Go right ahead. Not really my cup of tea. It does look nice. I'm not wearing any um, highlight right now, so how about I show you? Um, you can use one of those um, densely packed brushes that you see everybody using. Um, I find it's not that good with this, and honestly, the color payoff isn't as nice. Um, so what I like to use is a like a beauty blender. This one's um, from my subscription box from Boxy uh, Charm. Um, it was the April 2017. Um, the subscription box. This is from Pure Cosmetics. It's a beauty sponge. Um, it has a slanted cur uh, side there, um, so this would be nice to pick up product on here. And then um, I find it works better with this rather than a brush. Um, if you want something to look more blended out, sure, use a brush, but you're not going to get as much color payoff. So depending on what you want, lots of color payoff or not if you want more go with a sponge it's dry it's not wet at all so it's not going to cling to the product um, but let's try this out so um, I'm just going to pick up some of the product um, what colors do I like more hmm. we'll try this so I'm just going to go back and forth a couple times okay there's my rainbow <laughs> So let's uh, let's scooch you in a little closer and see what we can do here. Um, okay, let's try it. So festival look. Um, it looks looks okay I mean like you can clearly see a stripe of rainbow on my face so if that's what you want yay it did it for you but if that's not what you're going for then uh, mm, like it's nice it's just you would have to wear it for I don't know well it's it's up to you um, like I said this is the way I did it is better for the color payoff um, rather than a brush. Um, still got a lot of product on there. So um, I like using that if you wanted to go in and well, here, let's take um, this is my Morphe E48. It's tapered as well, very fluffy. Love the Elite Collection. It's awesome. Go buy it. Um, but then I can go and uh, try and blend out the bottom a little bit so it's not so foundation highlight bam noticeable difference um, just blend it in a little bit more but then like I said like look where to go like it's there but you you blend it and it's like gone like it's more subdued now but you you go in there and you try and soften the lines just so that it doesn't look like a big freaking rainbow on your face that just hits you. Then you're blending it out to make it look more seamless and it's gone. Like that's the thing about this product too is that it doesn't last long. Like be prepared to keep reapplying every like half hour to an hour.
because it's not going to stay on your face. I don't know what it is. This stuff just... It's not that good. Spend the extra money. I think there's another brand that costs like 30 bucks for another highlighter. Um, they're like an urban brand. Go with them. As seen on TV, sometimes you get good product, but this one is a miss for me. I do not enjoy it. So if you want to go and try it for 15 bucks, go right ahead. Price point's not bad, especially for like the rainbow highlight if you're not going to be using it all the time. Maybe you don't want to be spending a lot of money. That's perfectly fine. Go ahead, buy it. But keep in mind, it's not going to last you very long. You're going to have to keep reapplying. So I think that's it. Um, so that's the As Seen on TV Miss Yiffy products. Um, any comments, leave them down below. If you like these kind of videos, um, reviews, uh, I'm going to tell you what I think about the products. So, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. Take care.